So, this month I finally decided to buy a real camera. And based on recommendation of this wonderful YouTube community, I ended up getting the Sony ZV-E10, which was supposedly the best amateur camera in existence and is such a bargain in every single sense you'd imagine. My deras, with no cinematographic experience whatsoever, believed it. And to be honest, I'm kind of glad he did. I'm wondering right now if getting good video could be really considered a skill issue. I think the equipment really does matter a lot. Most videos I see on the topic claim that you cannot start from scratch. And even though I know it's true, I feel that it's one of those numbers don't win better situation. I bet it does help a lot. The video footage I've taken so far with this camera is just amazing. Although I wouldn't count on my professional experience, I think that it's precisely that what should make a point on its own. I'm not a professional. I don't know who to move the camera settings. Hell, three days ago I didn't even know what the shutter speed meant, and I think I still don't understand all its implications. So don't consider that any of my results right here require previous experience at all. No equipment needed. I took the videos with the lens that come by default. I think it's called the lens kit, which have proven to work arguably bad on bad lighting, but great on daylight. Although I think I should buy a combo for stabilization purposes. I'm broke right now, so the DaVinci Resolve one-click stabilization should do the trick. This is the first time I'm trying to synchronize the audio of my phone with the camera. As you can see, I'm kind of far away from the camera, I would say like 10 meters. The idea is that I want to know how far uh, it is and how good it sounds. Okay, firstly I want to check how it goes with the illumination at night with this lens. By now uh, I should be able to be recording something even with this microphone. The idea is if I can record something on a windy environment like right now, I should be able to record anything. And even though the zoom doesn't seem like that much, it actually is, right now I'm like 30 meters away and um, hopefully nobody is going to stay on my camera but this is what it seems I'm just running around, watching the camera and I'm very far from it so, this is very good what I need to know is how awful does this microphone look on camera and actually I want to know how my expression look on camera when I'm this far because I can even sit down here and be like Right now the environment is very windy, so I may even hear some wind in my recording. And that will be something I don't want because as you can see I'm using a fairly big microphone uh, phone to protect me from the wind. If I get closer I get my face focused and everything behind me just disappears. And that's pretty neat. I don't think I need to be recording on blower style. I actually just love this kind of format when I just lay down and, and talk on something because I don't even have to face the camera all the time and it makes sense because in a conversation you try to make spaces, you try to to make people comfortable and by then you don't look in the, into the souls searching for an answer and trying to accomplish something and now then I need to correct my posture when I'm recording that's why I prefer this one. Anyway, it should look in 4K and I have uh, high quality audio thanks of the microphone and I think it should be good to go. So that's it for this take. And now let's run for the camera. <laughs> so you can see how far I am actually. And there we go.